In this video, multiple EEPROMs of type AT24C04 are programmed via Arduino using the wire library. The AT24C04 by Atmel is a 4 kilobits EEPROM organized into 512 bytes of memory locations. It can be connected to a microcontroller using I2C interfacing and up to four devices can be interfaced. The communication between the microcontroller and the uh, EEPROM is fully bidirectional and the endurance of the IC is 1 million write cycles. As mentioned earlier, four devices can be addressed on a single I2C bus and this can be achieved by hardwiring pins A2 and A1 of the EEPROM to give us four device addresses. A0 is logic don't care, so it is connected to ground. To generate the device address, we need to construct this byte, where the most significant nibble is fixed at this value. And here we have A2 and A1, which have values based on this truth table. And this is for A0, which has a value of 0. And this is read or write. For read, the value is 1. For write, the value is 0. The device address using the wire library within the Arduino ID becomes this value here. The read-write is taken care of by the library, so we need to only be concerned with the values of A2 and A1. And based on this truth table, we can generate four different addresses. This address would be for the first EEPROM, and this address would be for the fourth EEPROM. The Arduino writes a byte to the EEPROM by first sending a start pulse to indicate the beginning of transmission and then it will send the 8-bit device address to locate one of the four EEPROMs and then it will write a 9-bit word address to locate the uh, memory location out of the 512 locations and then it will write the 8-bit data into that location and then it will send a stop pulse to indicate the end of transmission and these are the wire functions needed to implement the write operation. To random read from any memory location of the EEPROM, the Arduino will first send a start pulse to indicate the beginning of a transmission. Then it will send the 8-bit device address to locate one of the four EEPROMs. And then it will write the 9-bit word address to allocate the memory location to read from and then it will read the 8-bit data stored in that location and send it to the uh, Arduino and then a stop pulse will be sent to indicate the end of transmission. This is a circuit diagram showing the interfacing of two of these EEPROMs with the Arduino. Keep in mind we can interface up to four by just uh, changing the hardwiring of pins A1 and A2. And here you can see based on the hardwiring of this first EEPROM, the address is, uh, the device address is hexadecimal 50 and based on the hardwiring for this EEPROM, the device address is hexadecimal 52. The C++ sketch is written so that EEPROM1 is programmed by writing even integers into the first 10 memory locations and then reading the content of these locations. Likewise, EEPROM2 is programmed by writing odd numbers into the first 10 memory locations. A quick look at the C++ sketch. We need to include the wire library so that we can use the wire functions to communicate with the EEPROMs. Then we define uh, these two macros uh, so that we assign address hexadecimal 50 to the first EEPROM and hexadecimal 52 to the second EEPROM. Inside the setf function, this part of the code will perform writing and reading to the first EEPROM and this part of the code will perform uh, writing and reading to the second EEPROM. To write to EEPROM 1, Odd values from memory location 0 to 9, we need to call this uh, function 10 times. And we send to this function the device address, in this case for EEPROM1, it's uh, hexadecimal 50. And we need to also send the memory location we want to store at, in this case it's going to be 
from 0 to 9 and we need to send the data we want to store which means even integers function write to eeprom will receive the device address and also the memory location and the uh, data we want to store inside the write to eeprom function we first uh, execute this function begin transmission uh, which is found within the wire library this function will send the start pulse and also the uh, device address to locate the eeprom and then we uh, execute function write to send the uh, memory location to the eeprom to identify the location we want to store at and then we write the data into the eeprom and then we end the transmission by sending the uh, stop pulse back inside the setup function to read the contents of the first 10 memory locations of eeprom1 we need to execute this function and uh, this function read from eeprom we need to send the device address to locate the eeprom and then we need to send the memory locations we want to read from which are from locations 0 to 9 function read from eeprom will receive the device address and then it will receive the memory location we want to read from the function will then execute begin transmission and then it will write the memory location into eeprom1 to uh, allocate the memory location we want to read from and then we have end of transmission and then function request from will request from uh, device eeprom1 one byte of memory to be read from the uh, location sent earlier and if the wire communication is available then we read the content of that memory location and send it back to the uh, calling function back inside the setup function the return value from function read from eeprom which is the content of memory location i is displayed on the serial monitor and this process is repeated 10 times in a similar way we write uh, odd numbers to 10 memory locations of eeprom2 and then we read uh, the contents of those 10 locations and display it on the serial monitor in a future video eeprom at 24 c 4 will be interfaced and programmed by microcontroller AT89S52 thank you for watching